Hi everybody, it's Tammy Tatsy2 here, and I am very, very excited to be saying that the other day I went on my YouTube channel, and I have just over 200 subscribers, and I am so excited, and I thought, okay, I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, there's only a couple rules to the giveaway. Um, number one, you need to be a subscriber to my channel. This is a giveaway for my subscribers, and for being so nice, and Oh, all the comments they've given me over the last year and stuff it's just been great um, if you I'm gonna have to hold this to the can to Canada and the continental US I'm sorry to everybody else um, but between the length of time for shipping and everything it would be three to four months before anyone else saw their prize if they won and I don't want to do that to anybody. So um, I'm going to, today is the 16th of October, and I am going to keep this open until the 21st of October. And then on the 22nd, I'm going to have my little four-year-old granddaughter draw the name. And we'll do it live on video, of course, so that everybody can see that there's no hat trick. Um, also, if you leave a comment on this video, your name will go in once. But if you leave me a video response, I'll put your name in three times. Bigger chance to win. So let's get started here. And oh, I'm excited. When I was doing the putting things together for the giveaway, I thought, what would I like to have in my giveaway? So I went into my stash. Pull, opened that hoard vault up and pulled out some of the things that I love the best. Okay, so first up, um, let's do, um, how about some trims? Okay, let's start with some trims. Okay, I know everybody loves these. I do. I use them a lot in my projects. They're just the beaded trim, the tiny beaded trim. Okay. So there's a couple of yards of that. Now I didn't measure everything. Um, I know that there's you know two or three feet of everything here. So I, sh I guess I should have measured, but I didn't. Okay, so there's that. And then there's this awesome pink trim. It is so cute, it's be pink beaded trim. It is so cute, I love using this. It just lays so nice on all the projects. And there's also some in blue. It's really cute, it's really light blue. And then I did, how about some black and white flat back pearls. Everybody can use flat back pearls, okay? And I only have them in black and white because those are my favorites. Okay, then I thought, well, what else can I put in there? So, I started digging through the hoard vault and my favorite rhinestones. This is a mixed bag of pinks. There's three different colors in here and I love these flat back rhinestones. They add so much to every project I do. So I added those and then the flat back pearls and the buckles. So I mixed up a bag of those because I love putting these on flowers and stuff or just by themselves. And these little rhinestones fit really nice in there too. Then I thought, well, what else? Well, I love using these beads. I really love these crystals. They, you know, they really look good when they're, you know, hanging on chains and drooping and stuff. And then I had to throw in, of course, my ultimate favorite. Oh, just a sec. I'll just, okay, I'll do that after my Swarovski crystals. These are in light pink and they're in the rondelle shape. So I'm throwing in some of my favorite Swarovskis. These are like my treasure trove. So, and then of course, <laughs> cameos. Who doesn't love cameos, right? So I found in my vault, of course, some of these gorgeous cameos. These ones are really pretty. They have the butterfly with the um, 
They're on the, the butterflies on the lily. They're gorgeous. And there's a dark pink, a light pink, a black and white, and then it's a cafe au lait color. It's gorgeous. And then this really nice big cameo. She is adorable. Okay, so we've got those. Well, then of course I got into all my favorite charms. And I love metal. I am a metal fanatic. So I picked out my favorite ones for you. We got the big metal clock, the angel, my hope angel. I love my hope angel. This is a setting for the cameos. Beautiful. Uh, my Mardi Gras mask, of course. Angel wing. Heart key. And the little mini heart keys. Because I really like them. The dove. My kitty cat. My flowers. And my little spoon. And I love using these bead caps in all different sizes. So I added those two. Now this is these are what I use like all the time. I just I I'm always running out of them. I'm always having to reorder because they're just my favorite. Can't lose those little guys. Okay, and then I decided, well, what else can we add to this? Because I've got so many favorite things here. So dug deeper into that vault. And I'm going to include a whole stack of these gorgeous doilies. These are awesome. They're paper doily, but they're just like fantastic. I think I've got eight or ten of them here. They are really, really nice. Okay. And stamps. I mean, come on, got to have stamps. And I love the time clocks. They just, yeah, they, they suit everything. And this is one of my favorite stamps because I have a little granddaughter. And she, her and I have used mine unto death here. So I'm going to include one of those. It took me a while to find that. And I love using the um, coin envelopes. And these are the little ones. They're two and a half inches by four, just a little over four inches. And I think this is a, tw this is a 20 pack. So I'm going to include these because they make really nice little matchbook minis, matchbook minis, sorry. And tags, I mean, nobody can have enough tags, right? <laughs> of course not. A little seed binding to go with it. Okay, then um, a friend of mine, her name is Edith, and she has, she is scrapbooking with me on YouTube and Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. Well, she sent a few things to put into the giveaway because she is just such a dear, sweet friend. She sent a stack of these awesome little glassine bags. And the glassine bags are, if I can find a ruler, we're in business here. And I can't seem to find my ruler at the moment. I'm sorry to say. But they are, well, they're, Mm. Oh, I'm going to say they're about two and a half by four inches. And there's a whole stack of those. Then she sent, aren't these cute? The flower box and the roses. Those are absolutely, sorry, those are absolutely adorable. She added those. And then she added all these gorgeous flowers. Look at these, all in the pinks and the light pinks and purples and absolutely stunning and then these ones look at all those colors and the whites and the purples the dark purples light purples awesome awesome I love these kind of things so when she included those phenomenal and then she threw in try this ladies five yards of this gorgeous lace look at this isn't this amazing there's five full yards of it here and she include that's being included as well. You guys have to go over to her channel or onto Facebook and show her some love. Like this was just amazing. Okay. Then I kept looking, of course, 
and I found some more flowers to add. These are great as fillers and they are so easy to dye and color so I'm throwing those in. I love you. These are really great especially like I said as fillers. They are fantastic and cards yeah. And then there's these. These are my favorite colors when I'm doing my own flowers and I love these ones because they are totally embossed as well which makes them really good really really cute okay and then my favorite flowers these aren't these cute they are so poofy I love these flowers and there's even one in pink and the rest are in white they die really easy they're so easy to color up um, add pearls in the middle or bling in the middle or yeah they they're so nice and ratted and tatted and I just love them. So I'm adding about, I think there's like 10 or 12, I think 10, 8, 10, 12, I'm not sure. I'm going to say probably 10, maybe I should count 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10 of them. Okay, so that's going to be there too. And then I found some more trims. Everybody, I mean, everybody needs trims and laces, right? So there's a few yards of the white seam binding, which everybody needs. It's so easy to dye, you can just dress it, spray it, whatever you want. It is great on all your projects. And then, some eyelet lace. And this is gorgeous eyelet. I'm not, I guess I shouldn't call it eyelet, but I do because of how it's formed. And it is gorgeous. And then this is one of the trims that I love the best because it's just so flat and easy to apply and yet it looks so delicate and gentle. And this is another one of my favorites. This one I love turning into flowers because of the design on it. It just it just does up so nice into flowers. Then I thought well you can't have a giveaway without some kind of pearls and bling so let's bling. A whole sheet of pearls and rhinestones. And these are great. They are actually strips that are glued in each strip. It, they, yeah, these are great. And they cut apart so easily. Awesome. And then, of course, you got to have some small pearl borders as well, right? So I added those. And then these. These are the funky ones from Want to Scrap. These are so cute. I love these. These are for the corners and stuff plus I, I cut these apart constantly okay and then these now these have gorgeous little roses on them and the roses are three-dimensional see they are beautiful aren't those nice so there's gonna be those then I thought you know I'm gonna add a special touch here I am going to add a full yard of my hand crocheted trim that I make. I don't know if you can see that or not on my camera and I'm sorry if you can't but I hand crocheted this for this giveaway. Sorry ladies. Okay and there is a yard. I think there's actually just a little over a yard of that. And I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to add some stick pins too because everybody needs them to alter. And they're great when you add all your beads and stuff to them. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, one moment please. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over a nasty cold. And I love to hand crochet these little doilies that I use in, you know, when just doing a little shabby chic and stuff. So I'm including two in the cream color, two in the pink, and two in the white. And these are anywhere from, oh, I don't know, two and three quarter or three inches up in size. And then I thought, well, you know what, I've been working with this new one, and this is kind of an antique white. And I really like this new pattern, so I'm going to include one of those. And then I'm going to include this one. And this one's actually quite large. 
This one, I believe, is... I found something to measure on my mat pad. Uh, about four, four and a quarter. Just a little over four and a quarter inches. These are wonderful on any altered. And then I made this little sachet. And I'm going to include it. This sachet is actually for potpourri. Now I haven't attached anything. Everything here is just, it's just barely attached so that you can change it up however you want and it's made so you can fill it whether with potpourri or anything that you want alter it any way you want and I'd love to see it when it is altered okay and then <laughs> I thought I found this these are antique advertisements and they are done on this really cool card like awesome and for all of us that love to do vintage, awesome. So I'm going to include that. And then I thought, okay, you, you can't do anything without measuring. So I'm going to include the zero center exacto ruler. I use mine all the time. And if I could find it right now, we'd be measuring things. Um, it doesn't have a metal blade like the Tim Holtz does. and uh, But I still use mine for cutting and everything else. Okay, so I'm including that. And I thought, okay, you can't be doing any crafting without some score tape to go with it. So I'm putting in two rolls of a half inch and a roll of a quarter inch. So it's two rolls of a half inch score tape and a roll of a quarter inch score tape. Okay, and then let's top it all off. We're going to throw in my favorite paper line. Okay, so we're going to include, I'm going to include in this the 8x8 of the Graphic 45 Old Curiosity Shop. I fell so in love with this. And to go with it, the two chipboards as well. Both of them. They, yeah, these, these are awesome. I just love this paper line. I am a Graphic 45 freak. And then I thought, well, you know what? That's not enough. Let's do what I'm working on now. The 12 by 12 of the Graphic 45 Happy Haunting Collection. This, yeah, this is like fantastic, especially if you have kids. I'm doing one right now for a kindergarten class with this they are going to just love it. And I'm also going to include with that the two chipboards as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, leave me your comment or your video response and I will draw, or my granddaughter, sorry, will draw on the 22nd. And you have a great week, and thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Bye!